a look at what appears to be a rope tornado near the Tamarack fire. Now, these fires are burning so hot, they're creating things like fire generated uh, vortices and pyro tornadoes that uh, basically are ordinary tornadoes on steroids. They are driven by the intense heat on these fires that are drawing air in and creating updrafts that can be upwards of 130 miles per hour. We asked extreme weather researcher Neil LaRoe about what appears to be a pattern with fire. This is what I'd call kind of an emergent trend where we're watching things change really quickly in front of our eyes right now. Uh, and it certainly seems year after year that we're having, you know, larger, more intense fires and the opportunity to experience extreme fire behavior on those fires is, is going up. And the backdrop to all this, our warming climate and growing drought concerns, adding more fuel to these fires. And take a look at the smoke pattern that we were following throughout the day. You can see a lot of the smoke from the Dixie Fire heading up to the north and east. Same for the Tamarack Fire. As you can see a little bit closer, it is affecting some of the communities around Susanville, but just to the south of that fire, not so much. And that's the same pattern here for the Tamarack Fire. What will happen overnight is that will settle into some of the lower elevations, really into the valleys, so that special weather statement stays in place here with poor air quality. Meantime, tracking the winds coming in from the Pacific, not quite as strong as what we've had into last night and even the night before that, where we had some cool overnight lows. Now, we'll still be pretty pleasant for tonight. You can see the drop off here back into the 60s with winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But we're talking about where that smoke is headed next and when the 100s return.